I've written for you the acid-base equilibrium between a carboxylic acid and its anion. And many of you will have learned to describe the left-hand side of an equilibrium like this as an associated form and the right-hand side as a dissociated form. The dissociation is the hydrogen coming from the acid to become a proton. So this is an equilibrium, the acid providing a proton in its dissociated form. But you should know that carboxylic acids are weak acids. And that means that this equilibrium does not lie well towards the dissociated form, whereas other acids like HCl or sulfuric acid are strong acids. What I want to emphasize here is that this oxygen-hydrogen bond breaking, which is the process which corresponds to going from associated to dissociated structures, is a reasonable reaction because the oxygen-centered anion is well stable. And for this reason, carboxylic acids with two oxygens present are acidic, whereas alcohols with only one oxygen present are not. So we can use the discussion of stabilization of the anion to make that comparison between those different types of organic structures, acids and alcohols. We have the electronegativity of the oxygen atoms. We have the concept of delocalization of charge, sharing the charge almost exclusively between two of the oxygen atoms, so that's two times electronegative oxygen atom stabilizing charge. We've got a delocalized anion, which is large. So we have electronegativity twice over and large. A lot of charge stabilizing factors. So carboxylic acids are one of the most stable types of anions that you're going to meet in organic chemistry. Now here's the dissociation of the carboxylic acid written out for you again. And what I've said to you is that although the acid is not a strong acid, this equilibrium is accessible, and at equilibrium, there is a significant amount of the dissociated form. There's a significant H plus contribution if you dissolve acetic acid, ethanoic acid in water. But if you dissolve methanol in water, although technically this equilibrium exists, the position of equilibrium lies much more across to the methanol. This is a difference in terms of the balance of equilibrium, and it's explained because of the difference in charge stabilization between the anion of the carboxylic acid and the anion from the alcohol. More stabilized anion, better driving force to push that reaction across. Let's put a base in with this process. In general terms, we could write that mechanism from the base taking a pair of electrons to make a new bond and breaking the oxygen-hydrogen bond in the associated form of the acid. Let's do that for a real example. Here's today's typical base, the hydroxide ion. This base deprotonating ethanoic acid. The oxygen is the source of the electrons. The curly arrows flow from the oxygen atom, pick off a hydrogen from the acid, and break the oxygen-hydrogen bond to put the electrons onto the heteroatom. But we don't have to use hydroxide. We could use methoxide, or we could use ammonia. Those are both reacting as bases. We have hydroxide as a typical base, we have methoxide as a typical base, and we have ammonia as a typical base. And the mechanistic descriptions, each time the same. Two changes in bonding, making a new bond, OH bond or NH bond, breaking the bond between the hydrogen and the rest of the carboxylic acid. Two curly arrows needed to describe that process. 